Hi guys, I hope you all are doing amazing. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to give you a list of 15 uh, universities uh, for doing your masters in MIS, that is Management of Information System. Okay, now uh, be ready with pen and paper because I'm going to go really quick uh, just to give you a few more points at end of the list. Okay, so. The first university that uh, that I think you should consider for your MS and MIS is uh, Saniba Fellow. Uh, as you all know, it's in New York State, uh, which is on the east side of the uh, US. Okay, uh, so the first is Saniba Fellow. The next is University of Cincinnati. Uh, one of my friend has done his uh, masters from University of Cincinnati, and I think it he finishes uh, masters in one and a half years. So. Another friend of mine is doing masters from University of Cincinnati, so it's a good good university. You can consider it for your masters. Okay. So the first is Saniba Fellow. The second is University of Cincinnati. The third one, which I ranked, is uh, Texas A&M uh, College Station. Okay. So this is done. This is done. This is done. The fourth is UTD, that is University of Texas Dallas. Uh, fifth is Indiana University Bloomington. Sixth is University of Illinois Chicago. It's also known as UIC. Okay, I hope you are taking uh, note of all these universities because I'm going really fast. The next is North Northeastern University. Okay, after that University of Maryland College Park, Syracuse University, University of Arizona, University of Washington, Georgia State University, University of Florida, Rochester State University. Sorry, Rochester Institute of Technology, which is called as RIT. I applied to RIT for uh, MS in CS, and I got uh, some scholarship. So you can also think of applying to RIT if you want to get some scholarship. But just to let you know that the fees there is a bit high, so uh, you might want to reconsider this university uh, before among. Okay. So and the last is University of California Berkeley. Now. As you all know, these universities which I gave you, some of them are for people who have GRE scores more than 320. Some of them are for uh, people who gave uh, who have their GRE scores more than 300. Now the goal here was to give you a temporary list uh, which you can use to start with, uh, uh, you know, uh, start with your uh, university list. Okay. Now, based on your score, uh, try to figure out uh, which of these 15 universities are uh, you can where you can apply. Uh, the three main criteria which I generally suggest to everyone I talk to is uh, look at the location of the university, look at what is the core structure and how is the uh, opportunities for internships and uh, jobs. And the third is what is the tuition fees. Okay. Apart from these, uh, there are a few more criteria like. Do they, uh, how are the on-campus jobs or uh, there? You know, how are the? What are the chances for scholarships? Uh, how's the alumni network? So some of these university, some of these criteria are there which you should consider and apply to this list of universities which I just gave you. Now, the, this complete list is given in the description section below. So don't worry if you have missed the list. But uh, I would highly recommend uh, you to start with this list if you haven't started yet or if you have no list for your masters in MIS. Okay, I hope this helps you guys. Uh, I'm going to make similar kind of videos on uh, electrical engineering and mechanical engineering. Uh, so stay tuned on my channel. If you haven't subscribed uh, till now, then subscribe to my channel and see you soon, guys. Peace.